Hey, so today as always I'm coming to you from my couch and I'm going to be talking a little bit about change. Now we all have aspects of our life that aren't quite fulfilling, things that we know we'd like to change, however for some reason we just haven't seemed to be able to achieve it. And some of the reasons include uh, fear. Um, you know, oftentimes even though we know something is no longer serving us, um, we hold on to it for fear of the unknown, a case of better the devil you know. Um, we also need to look at what our underlying motivation for change is. I mean, if we're changing something or if we desire something because we think it will provide us with some sort of external validation, that's called extrinsic motivation. However, if we're changing something because we feel it will ultimately give us uh, more fulfillment, that it will give us a sense of purpose, that it will make us feel better in ourselves. That's intrinsic motivation. And the latter is the one that tends to work the most for us. So it's looking at the reasons why you want to change to begin with. It's also creating self-awareness. Oftentimes, uh, some of the reasons that we find change difficult is because we're stuck in old ways of thinking, old ways of behaving, old ways of interacting, which can be harmful or toxic to us. But because we've had them in place so long, they're just second nature to us. Sometimes we're not even aware of them. So it's about creating awareness of the, the areas of change that you are holding yourself back for, holding yourself accountable. Um, gaining that sense of responsibility. It's also really important that you have clarity as to what it is you want to change. You know, often we have this sense of something not being quite right, um, whether it be your relationship, whether it be the way you feel about yourself, um, the direction that your life is going in general. However, we don't know exactly what it is that we want to change. We don't know what it is that we want to see better. And creating self-awareness will help you clarify what it is that you actually need to achieve in order to feel better. We also need to be really clear about our expectations, about what the result will be. And again, it's looking at whether or not you're looking for external validation through the change that you make or whether it's something that is going to make you feel better on the inside. Another area I see a lot of people fall down on is under it estimating the amount of commitment, the amount of discomfort and the amount of work and sheer effort that is involved in making sustainable change. I mean, we all want the result. We just don't always want to put the level of work in. We don't have enough motivation or we don't have enough commitment uh, required to get us there. It's really important to track where you're going, to break down your overall goal into small little achievable steps so that you're not overwhelmed all the time. It's also really important to keep in mind the reason why you want to change, you know, constantly remind yourself of what you don't want in order to keep the momentum going. So there are just a few tips that may help you when it comes to making a long lasting change in your life. However, I would emphasize that one of the most important areas that you need to visit when it comes to long lasting life changes is visiting your past and looking at your biases, looking at your ways of thinking, looking at your triggers, looking at um, your the things that you avoid, looking at your coping mechanisms, because oftentimes we grip onto those so tightly and we don't realize how much of an obstacle they are to us in every area of our lives. And again, if this is something that you would like to talk to me about, if you'd like more clarity, if you'd like help with taking those few st first steps to achieving the life that you desire, then get in touch on the website. It's fundamentals.ie.